But then you come to these two. On December 6th, both the deputy chief of mission in Italy and the U.S. ambassador to Italy unmask Flynn's name. I remember Lara Logan was on the show when I found out live what those names were, and those were the names that we asked about. Why, why, why did that? Why was there interest with two State Department employees in Italy? What do they have to do with anything that General Flynn was working on? Well, this is where things get really interesting. And it appears that both Attorney General Barr and John Durham are curious as well. As per NBC News, Durham recently traveled with A.G. Barr, and I quote, to the United Kingdom and Italy in an effort to examine the contributions of foreign countries to the Russia probe. Now, this is a little bit interesting because the Obama administration, if they were digging up dirt on Mike Flynn using foreign allies, that might point to why a Russian diplomat, I'm sorry, a, a, a foreign diplomat in Italy were unmasking his name. So was there anything significant with that December 6th date? Yes. It's a time that we've all become very aware of, uh, and the name... Joseph Misud. Now, I don't know if you even remember him, but if you do, you need to know a little bit about him now. He's a former member of the Malta government, where he served in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He was later appointed the director of the London Academy of Diplomacy and was a member of the European Council of Foreign Relations. Then he moved to Italy. And it's there that he met former Trump aide George uh, Papadopoulos. Now, allegedly, he is also the source that told Papadopoulos about the Russians having the stolen emails from Clinton. Now, we need to know more about this because Masood's meeting with Papadopoulos was used by the FBI as justification to kickstart the entire Russian investigation. His name was mentioned 89 times in the Mueller report. December 6th is the date that the two diplomats in Italy unmasked Flynn's name, and it coincides with a trip that Misud took to the United States. As per Fox News, quote, while in New York, Misud met with at least one professor at Columbia University, according to the email exchanges viewed by Fox News and dated December 5th, 2016, Misud was scheduled to discuss cooperation with London and Rome in a private meeting in the Manhattan campus of Columbia University with the senior assistant dean. So what does this have to do with General Flynn? I mean, really? Well, Flynn's lawyer, I need you to hear this. His lawyer, Sidney Powell, recently demanded that federal prosecutors turn over two cell phones owned by Joseph Misud. She stated, quote, the phones could contain specific information related to the Western intelligence being tasked against Flynn likely as early as 2014 to arrange, unbeknownst to him, connections with certain Russians that they would then use against him in their false claims. Wait, what? Who was tasking Western intelligence to spy and set Flynn up? Was it Clapper? Was it Brennan? Was it Obama? And if federal prosecutors have examined these phones, oh, you can damn well bet that John Durham and A.G. Barr have seen them too. Now, Mifsud, he's been painted as this Russian asset that was just willing to hand uh, the Trump campaign, these these uh, Hillary Clinton emails, but his ties to Russia are extraordinarily weak. His ties to the intelligence on the uh, on the well, let's just say they're weird as hell. This is the last we know. Um, this is the last photo that has been taken of Misud. Um, he uh, met with his lawyers in May 2018. Then he just vanished. We don't know where he is. His lawyer stated that he is indeed alive, but, and I quote, they have provided him with another identity. Who, who provided him another identity? Who's hiding him? Who's he hiding from? His lawyer goes on. 
He was in close relations with the Western intelligence world as well as to the Clinton network. And that today he is fully cooperating with and following the orders of easily identifiable intelligence agencies. Wow. I, may I just repeat something uh, that his lawyer is saying these things? This is not some random friend. This is his lawyer saying that he is a Western Intel asset. I don't know. That seems kind of important, doesn't it? We think that Ms. F- uh, Ms. Sud first hooked up with the Italian intelligence agency when he met Vincento uh, Scotti the former Minister of Interior and Minister of Foreign Affairs back in the late 1990s. Scotty would later be ordered by the Italian court to pay over $3 million, forget this, defrauding funds from the intelligence agencies to fund black operations. Together, the two helped establish Link Campus University in Rome. Scotty ran the school as director and Masood uh, was listed as teacher of comparative politics. As of today, all mentions of Masood at Link have been scrubbed from the website. Unfortunately, uh, websites are forever. We found this archive page that lists, it lists his name under their foreign faculty. It all sounds great. Right? You know, at Link, a student can learn from the finest in, in digital communications and, the, and fashion design and performing arts and intelligence collection. Wait. I mean, your school offered that, right? Yes, at Link, you can travel to Rome, see the Vatican, and pick up your master's in intelligence and security taught by spies from all over the Western Hemisphere. This is just another archived web page describing the entire program. But wouldn't you know it, this has been scrubbed from their site as well now. Hmm. So were the Russians involved with this secret spy university in the middle of Rome? Hardly. But the FBI and CIA, they were. They've been sending their agents and attending conferences at Link since at least 2004. It's funny how all of these sources have now been deleted. But here's... Another one. It's an archived article, this one from the Washington Post, that details a CIA sponsored conference that was held in Link. Now, this one was even attempt, uh, was attended by the CIA deputy director. What? CIA employees traveled to Link to give lectures? This tweet is from CIA analyst Stephen Marin, giving a lecture back in 2015. This continued up until at least 2018. The FBI was also active in this little Hogwarts for spies. And this one is interesting. It brings us right back to the two diplomats who unmasked Flynn's name at the Italian embassy. In 2016, the U.S. embassy sent their office of legal attache to Link to give a lecture. His name was FBI Special Agent Preston Ackerman. This is a photo taken of at the lecture back in 2016. And at the exact same time, the FBI and U.S. Embassy were involved with Link University. They were also involved with something else. This is the Inspector General's report on FISA abuse. Page 108 describes a meeting at the U.S. Embassy in Rome between the FBI and Christopher Steele. This embassy is the setting, the headquarters, if you will, for the FBI's tasking and payment to steal, to dig up dirt on the Trump campaign. Now, why were two State Department employees in Italy curious about Michael Flynn? Because it appears the entire coup was being run there, officially in the offices of the U.S. Embassy between the FBI and Christopher Steele, and unofficially between the FBI, CIA, and their partnership with Spy University. Their employee, Mif Sud, was one, the one who started all of this with his convenient conversation with George Papadopoulos. So now the facts are all beginning to line up, and it is so blatantly obvious This is the scene at the end of Scooby-Doo, where we all realize, whoa, it wasn't the old man Withers. He was was wearing a mask the whole time. It wasn't for those pesky kids. We cannot stop connecting these dots. 
Time is short. If the Trump administration doesn't do something soon, we may never see justice for possibly the most brazen coup ever attempted or seen in this country. We lose our country if Donald Trump loses and these people haven't gone to jail.